And this territory is divided between highland Mixteca, lowland Mixteca, and coastal Mixteca. So we have cold, warm, and hot weather, and this is the reason why we produce different types of products. Como es el caso de Pesteo Sacualco, en donde se produce la palma, y en ello se se hacen sombreros, telares, petates y sobre todo el petate que pude apreciar eh, ayer en la visita al Códice. Entonces es para nosotros eh, parte de nuestra vida diaria. ¿no? And for, uh, one of the uh, examples is in Tesuacualco, where we produce palm and this is used to make sombreros and petates, which are like mats. And this is one of the things I could see yesterday at, uh, when I visited the Codex, and this is still part of our day-to-day -day life. Oh, okay, just a uh, little uh, comment. Uh, the nice thing is that a lot of things that um, the beginning of our presentation, actually, we do watch it in the film. Then I'm just uh, looking forward for the uh, coming uh, Realizamos rituales para venerar nuestra tierra, para pedir con lluvia, para seguir dándole gracias también a la madre tierra por todo lo que nos provee. Y en esta imagen que ustedes pueden apreciar, 
que es el ritual del fuego nuevo. Esto se hace cada inicio de año, el primero de enero de, de cada año, y eh, lo hacen las personas mayores. Eh, también es notable el involucramiento de las personas jóvenes. Y esto es, eh, es eh, sacar, eh, ¿cómo se produce el fuego? Bueno, con sacar de, que eh, se ha quedado en la tierra, lo, lo rejuntan y a través de ello eh, prenden lumbre, hacen fuego. Y es, um, esto se hace también en, el, en la mañana, antes de la salida del sol, para dar gracias a la tierra y para esperar un nuevo año. And uh, one of the things that we do, we make rituals and we uh, request it. We thank our, our land and we request for rain. And we also thank our Mother Earth uh, for what she gives us. So in this image we can see there's a ritual of the new fire and we do this every year on the first day of January. And this is done each year, and it's done by the elders, but it's also important that young people have been and also been part of this uh, ritual. And the way we do this is we uh, gather dry leaves and then we produce the fire. And we do this in the morning before the sunrise. And um, this is to ask for um, a good thing for the next year. El Fuego Nuevo también lo pudimos apreciar en Tututepec, Villa de Tututepec, en donde en la imagen ustedes pueden apreciar dos imágenes muy poderosas. En una, eh, la que está en esa parte, están eh, realizando el Fuego Nuevo frente a la diosa de la fertilidad. Y eh, ustedes pueden ver eh, un pequeño vasito ahí, y esto es una ofrenda, seguramente es agua. Y eh, nos platicaban también eh, las personas de la comunidad que acuden muchas personas eh, de diferentes partes del pueblo de la lluvia a, a pedirle a la diosa de la fertilidad eh, al deseo. Y bueno, también pueden apreciar el involucramiento de la propia comunidad and here in Tutupec we can see two very powerful images. So on the left we can see how they are trying to uh, do the new fire and they are doing it in front of the uh, goddess of fertility. And on the right side you can see they have a little pot that's an offering and probably it has some water. So they told us that people come from different parts of the rain town to, um, to visit the goddess of the fertility, to ask also for a wish, and it's a very important ritual. <coughs>
And so that is the day study, which is the health of the brain. And we go there to request for, to ask for brain. And we visit this house with the elderly, the men, the women, and the youth, the youth as well. And we offer, we make some offerings, and we stand there before the God of Rain, uh, Savi, and we bring music and some offerings, and we pray on so for good times to come. Eh, ustedes pueden apreciar en la imagen la convivencia que se está presentando en la Casa de la Nubia, y eso es significativo también porque en eso consiste, ¿no? en convivir, en pedir, en agradecer. Y eh, ustedes eh, ven también eh, cómo una persona mayor está eh, brindando, le está dando gracias a, a, a la Madre Tierra, eh, dándole, ofreciéndole pulque, y eso es bastante significativo dentro de nuestra cosmovisión. Gracias, gracias. Madre Tierra. And in uh, this image, you can see that, well, in the previous image, you could see there were people being together, and it's also very important because this is what it's all about, it's for people to come together and thank the Mother Earth. And then on the next um, image, you can see this elderly who is bringing an offering of pulque, which is a drink, uh, to the Mother Earth. And this is also very important for a vision to thank Mother Earth for what she is. Y bueno, eh, yo decía, y bueno, eh, ustedes pueden ver a Sam, este eh, aparece y es lo que está arriba de su casa, la casa de Sam, que es Sam, la casa de la lluvia. Y bueno, y, eh, no tengamos eh, en este caso el material de nuestra nación. Sabemos de la existencia de Sabi y sabemos que está presente en todo momento para nuestros rituales. And here you can see the image of the god Sabi and on top you can see the house. So that's the house of the rain, the Sabi. And even though we don't have this material with us in our own nation, we know about his presence and we recognize him. Aquí también podemos apreciar los animales que eh, pues están dentro de, eh, o pertenecen, son parte de nuestra cosmovisión, eh, los animalitos ahí son unos renacuajos, y podemos apreciarlo en nuestra cultura material, que está en eh, un sabi o que al menos ha sobrevivido, y ese es un renacuajo, pueden ver eh, su colita, and also some animals are part of our cosmovision and here you can see a tadpole which is in your study and has her eyes so you can see the tail and the eyes on the image. Por supuesto, la rana también juega un papel muy importante. Es un kitty-sabi, un animal de la lluvia y su papel es Es importante, es fundamental, ¿no? Él nos avisa eh, cuando va a llover, eh, y así también como la rana, otros animales, eh, nos avisan los tiempos buenos y los tiempos malos que, que tendremos en nuestra comunidad y aparecen dentro de la cultura material que, que es herencia del pueblo latino. And of course, another uh, very important animal is the uh, frog. Kitty Sabi is an animal of the rain and it's very important because uh, the same as the frog, there are other animals who can let them know when it's going to rain and they tell us about good and bad times that are coming and it's a very important heritage of our culture. Bueno, eh, como ustedes La importancia de poder hablar la lengua ha sido eh, fundamental para entender la herencia cultural del pueblo de la lluvia. Nombrarlo en, en el propio idioma cobra sentido y eh, traducirlos al español eh, obviamente no es la más ideal. Eh, pierde en este caso el sentido y por eso es tan fundamental que sigamos hablando nuestra lengua 
que sigamos transmitiendo este conocimiento, que sigamos eh, manteniendo una cosmovisión que nos caracteriza como pueblos originarios, tanto que es importante también el conocimiento para la comunidad. And well, to supplement this information, that why it's so important to keep speaking the language because it's a cultural heritage to um, understand this on its original language, which makes a lot of sense, but when you then translate it into Spanish, it loses a little bit of sense. So that is why it's so important to keep this, um, and to keep transmitting this type of knowledge, because it's part of our of cosmovision as First Nations. Laura Sonio and Marcos will be part of a um, project. And we start uh, to uh, working uh, focus on the Codex Tony Day. The Codex Tony Day is, in the, is deposited in the British Museum. No history uh, to stay there, but when we started uh, to work in with the Codex. And our first question was, what happened with the communities, the places, uh, the narratives on the codex and the present communities? And, and we stand with this question and we started uh, going to the communities where the lore and deal that is the main uh, character in this codex. Um, and we uh, actually just uh, uh, started to uh, looking for uh, these links between the community and to know uh, what and they know about this uh, codex and then we started uh, to this uh, well survey. This is the Antonio, as you know, uh, the places that are contained in the <coughs> codex they actually they are in the Mixed Radio. Long history of occupation, long history of living and obviously speaking the language. Unfortunately, not in all the places they are recognized the languages and obviously don't know too much about the codes. Uh, but well, we try to link, in, link to the places in the codex, but not just in the codex, to the community. For example, this is Tilantongo, one of the main uh, places uh, for the mystic people. Uh, just to prove that we are there, <laughs> <laughs> or we were there actually. The Tio Sacualco, uh, you can see that very, very different, um, um, like climbs uh, in, the, in the highlands, we have more uh, cold, uh, and in the lowlands, more dry, you know, like the coast of Mexico, uh, you can imagine, uh, more or less. And the nice thing for us is that we, we have different experience uh, there. For example, in Teosacualco, uh, they don't speak more uh, the Mystic languages. It's like very, very bad for us. Tilantongo, uh, they still speak, but not too much. And the Tutupec was the main place where we found like um, um, an identity, a, a very um, um, strong identity, because in all in all the main buildings, they have uh, something related with the community. Codex. For example, here you can see this in, in the, well, the floor has like ribs and rungs. <laughs> uh, and you know, this is the a glyph that represents the Yukusa uh, to protect. And um, when actually you saw uh, this in, in the movie, we are, um, we are doing workshops in the communities to try to link the codex, but not just the codex, to uh, encourage to read the codex in the mystic language. And uh, when the communities has the language alive, actually this is very easy to do. And I want to show you. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
the soap uh, before in the like um, the informe de gobierno or to be the use for official documents and the diplomas, the letters, and that was so nice you see, for me. They put in a mural, or they make a mural where there is the logo right now. Uh, when this was replicated, or the workshop was replicated in other communities, as uh, Mr. Peck, uh, Jukuiti, uh, you can see uh, teachers, communities, uh, where well, how we involve actually all the community, not just students, or not just uh, teachers, the people that they want to come uh, to the workshops. And uh, actually, that's, that's, that's more meaningful um, for me. And actually, in the last year, in the, yeah, the last year, 2022, uh, the community of Miramar actually took uh, this, like the official logo as well. Then it's, it's, it's another example. And well, uh, we also create the app, uh, the movie app, Colises Mixteco, so you can look at all this. You have Android, I'm, I'm not sure that you have Android. <laughs> <laughs> but you can look for on the uh, Android. We hope to develop uh, into the Apple, uh, well, you know, the money for that. But actually, you have uh, the pictography and uh, the meaning in Tumsabi, because we want to show in Tumsabi. And Tumsabi is a tonal language. Tonal language, that means that uh, we, we say that we have three, actually. Uh, linguistic uh, thing that uh, we have more, but uh, we start with three <coughs> tones and then uh, the audio uh, help us to uh, <coughs> see the difference or listen the difference between the two of them. Then we have the uh, image, uh, the mystic language, the sound, and obviously the, 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 the Spanish word. Um, but we, uh, uh, we before, it, we, this was developed before to make contact with the British Museum. And one of the problems at that time for us was we don't have to um, problem with the uh, rights. Strange. But we decided to uh, repaint uh, uh, all the things that we have in the uh, movie app. Um, but it was a very nice uh, exercise because, for example, Many colors of the green color in the codices, uh, actually right now is, how I can say, the color is coming more yellow. Then uh, to uh, make uh, again this and put again this uh, colors uh, makes more sense to recover the, the, the original colors or to see in the original way, if I can say that. But uh, it's, it's, it was interesting. Uh, exercise, you can see uh, the, the imagine of the Codex Common Danger and uh, the app, uh, the movie app. Well, you can download if you have Android. <laughs> anyway, uh, talking about the Mr. Codex, but not just the Mr. Codex, all the cultural material that are deposited in the museums. Uh, it's not just like material culture, because this is more related with the people, with the language, with the culture, and actually when the culture is alive today, and they are in their own territory. And uh, for that reason, we have, in, in terms of the academic uh, way, uh, to link the past to the present with the language, discourse, uh, ceremonial discourses, Obviously, the ancient art, history sources, and the living tradition. It is a, well, a, a long way to do that because we have to uh, see everything that we have from the present, from the past to the present, and the, the present to the past. Uh, well, this is part obviously one of the unique declaration of the rights of the indigenous peoples. The indigenous people have the right to revitalize, use, develop, and transmit to the future generations their histories, language, oral tradition, philosophies, writing system that, that we are working on, um, and literatures and design, everything, their own names. So the, um, the, the communities that appear in the Codex Codex Codex, giving uh, workshops, giving lectures, giving 
uh, with this uh, more information about what it is, uh, what uh, it says, and, and what. Uh, now, uh, part of this is how we can disseminate this information. Not just for academic uh, publications, it's, it's also related with how we can uh, give this information easily to the people, how to understand the Mr. Codices. One of these results is the, the, the movie that you, you saw in the beginning, and you can still uh, finish in your uh, and well, actually, how we can show again the uh, collection that are deposited in many different uh, uh, museums and other world. And this is another uh, well, uh, unfortunately thing that uh, we saw many, many impressive collections from the mixed uh, people, not in the mixed region. Actually, we don't, we don't have a, a, a nice collection as uh, we saw, for example, in the Smithsonian Institution of the Mexico City in the National Museum of Anthropology, but uh, when, when we have to start to do something uh, about this. But uh, I think you, you, you want to say something about this, right? Uh, in este camino, hemos estado recorriendo, viendo que elementos culturales del pueblo mixteco están alrededor del mundo. Estamos eh, en proceso de construcción de un catálogo de esta herencia cultural en el extranjero. Y esta es una imagen eh, del Museo de Sonia. Um, yes, so in this journey we are trying to find what elements are still of uh, the Mexican culture and we are um, trying to find them around the world and build a catalogue. So this picture is from the Smithsonian um, Institution. Y, bueno, pues también ya podemos eh, apreciar y podemos ver ciertas oportunidades de cómo llevar esta eh, riqueza cultural al pueblo de Madrid. Sabemos y entendemos un poco la política de los museos en este sentido de resguardar eh, la herencia cultural eh, y estamos encontrando eh, y estamos buscando también ciertas oportunidades para que este conocimiento lo puedan apreciar allá, para que puedan eh, ver, reconocer eh, lo que se ha hecho, lo que hicieron muchos antepasados como derecho eh, necesitan saberlo eh, también esto es importante recalcar eh, el lenguaje de los museos en el sentido de cómo se presenta el objeto y cómo está resguardado es importante incluir eh, las lenguas indígenas en él podemos eh, apreciar ciertos elementos en el Smithsonian y pues prácticamente no está en la lengua de la lluvia y es importante comenzar a cambiar eso. And we can appreciate and see some opportunities to uh, transmit this cultural wealth that we have. And we understand what's the decision of the museums about keeping the cultural heritage safe. So we are trying to find some opportunities to bring all this knowledge to our community so we can be known and recognized uh, all these that as, uh, our ancestors have made and we can have it as a right for us. And it's very important as well, the, uh, the language that the museums use for uh, keeping and showing these, um, these items. So it is very important to put these as well in uh, indigenous languages because we saw that this is not in the language of the race. Well, um, <coughs> I have to look for many, many ways to disseminate the knowledge you ought to be using the new, new, um, uh, movies, uh, WhatsApp, stickers. Um, but uh, obviously, uh, a lot of women, person asking what happened why they are outside of the museum region. 
I know the arbitration is a problematic topic, but uh, if you can imagine, uh, thousands of uh, commissions was made were made in the Mr. region, and nowadays less than ten are uh, in the world. Uh, that one is in the uh, two actually are in the British Museum, uh, in the National Museum of International Anthropology in New Mexico, in Austria, in United States, in Oxford. Uh, well, we we want it that they are in the region, but we don't know if it will happen to someday. We don't know. But actually, uh, we started that doing that we came to do uh, today with our knowledge, with our language, we. Uh, with our uh, uh, traditions and then uh, obviously working together with, with the researcher institutions, museums uh, to uh, spread out the knowledge about these uh, policies and the other material or cultural material in the Mr. Uh, we hope uh, to continue in, in this way and obviously uh, we want to exchange uh, the effort uh, with this topic then, uh, for example, one of these that we are working on is uh, to uh, create a page where uh, to show this knowledge in the Mystic region, uh, mainly, obviously, the uh, internet is uh, open to all, all the world, but actually we don't have to uh, have problem again with the rice or uh, something like this, or I hope to don't have problem with this, and I think we can actually just, just talk. And well, this is obviously a common project. We don't, um, we cannot say that this is finished. Actually, this is an ongoing process. And we, uh, this is my second time here. For Isaiah, uh, it's the first time you know, we have to do more uh, with uh, uh, the personal institution museums that uh, want to uh, obviously do something for with our language, with our communities, our language, and for our language and for our uh, people. And for me, that's it. Thank you.